Hey Aries, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your December 2021 love reading. So welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we're going to dive into the area of love. We're going to take a look at it all. Whether you are single, maybe you're partnered up or you are in separation, we're going to take a look at everything for the month of December. So just a friendly reminder, this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every single one of you. So please do take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you would like to sign up for a personal reading or even enter into my free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. So we are going to dive into the Romance Angels before we start your Celtic Cross here, Aries. And the first cards out, uh, they, all, they gave it to me almost in three different energies here. Uh, this could be for singles, for partnered and separated, but please take it as it resonates. We do have chemistry and we have playfulness coming in for you here. There's a strong magnetic attraction. And then we have to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So a lot of you are uh, coming together is what I'm sensing here. Coming together. It may be somebody completely new coming in. We'll take a look. Uh, it may be somebody you are reconciling with because we do have the reconciliation card along with engagement as well. Some of you may be getting engaged for the month of December. It says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So this doesn't always have to be about... Uh, getting married or you know getting a ring it's just something that levels up your relationship so there is a next level whether you are dating and you go from dating to maybe moving into each other with each other uh, you may go from engagement to marriage you may go from seeing other people to being exclusive so whatever that is for you there is uh, possibly a reconciliation it may be somebody from the past here it may be a friend that you are reconciling with that may lead to higher level commitment here and then we have for those of you that uh, possibly are in separation as well we do have love yourself first stay optimistic about your love life we have free yourself and we do have healing family issues. So this is a little more complex energy uh, that came out here. It says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. A lot of you are doing that deep inner healing at this time. And I feel with the, the recent energies of the last half of 2021 here, a lot of you have been doing a lot of uh, inner deep thinking, a lot of retrospection on your life, especially when it comes to love. It does say uh, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Uh, this is about staying positive within yourself as well, because it's the card of optimism versus pessimism. I feel like if you were in relationships that were not growing, you may have just left them. You may have decided that you want to go a different route. Some of you are uh, taking things to the next level because you realize that that is where you belong. We have free yourself and healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Uh, this can be that you're a parent as well. Uh, there may be children involved here. Uh, for some of you, uh, they're telling me that parents may be involved. Maybe they live with you. Maybe you're taking care of parents at this time as well. Or maybe somebody is trying to heal from mommy or daddy uh, issues from childhood as well. It says it's time to take back control of your life. So we're going to dive into your Celtic cross here and see what energies are playing out for you for the month of December. All right. Spirit, what do we have for the heart of the matter for Aries? Just going to put these over here. Heart of the matter. What do we have for Aries? December 2021 regarding love. All right. So we have the magician crossed by the two of cups. Okay. So a lot of you are wanting to manifest a new beginning. The magician is all about believing in love, believing that there is relationships that are meant for you, that you're able to grow to a higher level commitment here, and that you can overcome any obstacles, overcome any challenges, because the manifesting is about what is it that you're putting your time, energy, effort, and focus on at this time. We're going to clarify the magician here. And this is a new deck by John Holland, it's the Psychic Tarot here uh, for love. 
Uh, so we have the Six of Cups. It talks about simply just loving yourself. The Six of Cups is the card of nostalgia. It certainly can be reconnecting to a past person or a return from the past as well. Uh, but a lot of you, what this means is not necessarily a return, uh, but it's about making sure you're not living in the past and you're healing any issues that may have stemmed that may be affecting uh, your relationship that happened in the past but may be still presently affecting you here. So this is about just loving somebody for who they are completely and uh, loving them on a whole higher level than just uh, a surface level here. Loving, they're telling me loving unconditionally, not conditionally here. Uh, for others of you, this is healing and loving your inner self, your inner child, because the Six of Cups can be about a difficult childhood, <clears throat> excuse me, and about childhood wounding that may be affecting your relationships at this time. So when the magician shows up for you, you're saying, you know what, I want to leave the past in the past and I want to manifest the love I deserve. Let's take a look here and get one more card to clarify the magician. <clears throat> All right, we have helpless and hopeless. Okay, so this is the Eight of Swords energy showing up here. You are you are feeling a little bit trapped in the past is what I'm sensing here. You may still be stuck on somebody from the past here or a situation that happened in the past. You want a new beginning, I certainly see that, but there may still come times uh, that come up or that trigger you, okay? And that's very important areas that you find out what is triggering you, why it's triggering you, and see if you can work with it and heal it. And yes, it's about opening up here, uh, opening up to a higher level of love and uh, opening up to your relationships here, opening up uh, affection, because this can certainly say that somebody may have been withholding affection in the past, but I feel like the magician card, you want to come together and you want to heal very important energy here. However, <clears throat> the obstacle for you, Aries, is the two of water, which is the two of cups. So the obstacle here is meeting of the minds. It's that high level commitment here. Uh, this is a very important partnership, a very important love relationship, whether this is a soulmate, uh, maybe there was a separation or you had to heal some sort of a trauma. Sometimes this can mean uh, a second honeymoon as well. So it does make sense. If you are single, if you are partnered up, there may be issues here of coming together and healing past wounds. So let's clarify this energy for you. <clears throat> I do apologize. I think I ate a little too much um, Palo Santo. All right, let's clarify the Two of Cups as the challenge for Aries. Okay, we have flow, flow. This is the Wheel of Fortune showing up for you here. Wheel of Fortune is saying that you're hoping fate intervenes, okay? And you feel like you've been resisting or somebody has been resisting a love connection and per Perhaps it's been you, Aries. Uh, perhaps it's been your partner here. But there is a little bit of that uh, resistance because, again, I was seeing somebody withholding some affection regarding a past issue here. And you can see that he has his hand on his heart chakra, but also he's looking down. So there's been hurt is what I see here. There has been a uh, wounding, but this is about healing again, the past and knowing that happy unexpected changes will flow forward and staying optimistic about your love life. But the challenge here for you can certainly feel like uh, being all in committing 110%. And that may be why you have stay optimistic about your love life showing up for you. You do have freeing yourself as well freeing yourself. Uh, this may be why there's a separation if you are currently in separation mode here, but I feel like there will be a coming together, whether this is with somebody from the past uh, that you are either currently with or you are separated from. I feel like there will be a talk. So I'll be curious to see if that Ace of Swords shows up because there will be a, a talk of where to go from here. Let's take a look and get one more card regarding the Two of Cups as the challenge two of cups is the challenge we have oh there it is rebuild this is the tower okay so there again has something very strongly happened between you regarding your love life for a lot of you here very strong as uh, it could have been 
a very bad argument that ended badly. It could have been betrayal. Uh, perhaps it was just a clashing, especially with the energies, like I said here, of the last six months, the last half of the year. A lot of you have been clashing and really going back and forth, back and forth energy. But the tower is about rebuilding, not only yourself after a tower moment, but possibly building anything left between the two of you. But in order to do this, you can't use the same bricks that you've already built uh, your prior house upon. Uh, so this means you must start new. Very important here, Aries, you must start building new bricks because you don't want that energy of possibly one of the bricks that has a faulty, you know, faulty brick with a crack in it may come crumbling down. You don't want to use anything that's already been destroyed here. And what that means for you is if you want to move forward in your love life, heal your uh, yourself or heal your relationships or move forward in a new beginning, this is about leaving the past in the past and uh, rebuilding your own self back up after a tower moment. And that may be a challenge for some of you here. Let's take a look and see what the foundation is between you, your heart chakra, and your person of interest here. Oh, wow. Okay. We do have the sun card showing up here. The sun card is about you wanting to find somebody to share your happiness with. I mean, everybody does, right? I mean, some people are loners and like to be by themselves, but Aries, you like to be in a relationship. You may find that uh, I feel like you could be happy without a relationship as well, but the majority of you would like to enjoy life and find somebody to share it with. This is about feeling abundant, feeling successful, and uh, other people noticing you as well. So whether you are single, whether you are partnered, or whether you are separation, you may have this beautiful glow or handsome glow about you, Aries, that people are just attracted to you. You have that spunky, vibrant energy, maybe even a little bit uh, adventurous, a little bit charismatic here, where people are drawn into you. So uh, I feel like at times your love life is really, uh, I don't want to say, uh, I'll say at times very bright, very bright and very excited, but then other times it may tend to get uh, on fire, okay? Because the sun, if you get too close, if you're in it too long, it can scorch you. And uh, for others, you need that sun. You need that uh, that vitamins to, to grow and thrive. So it's a back and forth balance, but I feel like you want somebody that you can, again, enjoy your life fully, go on vacations, travel, uh, maybe have a family, grow, thrive, and share your good times together here. And that is the foundation upon which you are built. So let's take a look and clarify the sun showing up as your foundation. Okay, do we want all these spirit? Okay, thank you. All right, rest and reconsider here. Rest and reconsider. Uh, Nine of Wands is about the final push. Having a final push in a situation here. Uh, it's also about taking a look at where you've come and uh, maybe thinking about your options again. So especially if you were in a relationship or you are in a relationship that was really happy. I mean, obviously you're everybody gets in a relationship that thrives, that makes them happy right away. Uh, that's why we continue to, to be in a relationship. But I feel like along the way somewhere, a lot of you may have thought, is this for me? Uh, do I? Is this the direction I want to go? Do our goals align? Do our priorities align? Are we the same kind of people that want to thrive forward and be better versions of ourselves together? So a lot of you may have been reconsidering your options or uh, with this person or without this person here. Okay, let's take a look at the recent past. We have the nine of fire energy. So again, nine of wands showing up is you giving up. I feel like somebody's barriers went up and I feel like you wanted to find the motivation in difficult times. You may have tried and tried and tried to open yourself up or to have somebody else open up to you here, Aries. Uh, but I feel like there, there just was a little bit of a pause. This is the card of the wounded warrior. And when the wounded warrior shows up, you've been hurt. You've been, uh, it's been hard for you to open up your love. Why? Because we again have that six of six of cups showing up again. So the six of cups, this again is either the childhood wounding coming into effect. This is uh, you not being able to get over something that happened in the past, uh, or this is about 
maybe not being able to fully get over an ex, therefore you're not able to move forward here. So this is about loving yourself. Very important, especially going into relationships. We do have the five showing up here, challenging times. Uh, the five is about obstacles. It's about a little bit of rival rivalry between you and others here. And somebody, again, you can see putting up a shield because they don't want to be attacked. And uh, even what I'm sensing is a lot of petty arguments going back and forth. It's almost like a lot of nitpicking here and somebody is putting up their shield and saying, you know what, I've already been attacked in my life. I've already had to deal with this trauma, whether again, it was childhood or a prior marriage here. Uh, you've already had to defend yourself. You don't want to do it again. And that's why you had to stop and reconsider, wait, where do I want to go from here? You want an equal give and take in this union here. Giving and receiving. Five of Pentacles is, or excuse me, Six of Pentacles is about that equal give and take here. And I feel like somebody was giving, 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 and maybe somebody was taking, 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 or vice versa, whether that was you or your partner here, but it wasn't uh, an equal give and take. It was one-sided in a union here and it left you feeling wounded. And I don't blame you here because relationships aren't one-sided. They uh, need to be fully invested, both people. So let's take a look at what the potential is here for you, December 2021 for your love. What is the potential here? Strength. Okay. We have the strength card showing up. So there's a situation calling for you to be strong. This is for you to find that inner willpower that you most certainly have here, Aries. This is about uh, courageness, fearlessness, willpower. Uh, make sure you don't self-sabotage as well uh, because you can become very vulnerable to uh, certain types of people or a certain person in your path here. But this is about you staying strong, setting healthy boundaries, and moving forward in the direction that you want to seek. Um, don't let fear creep in. Don't let past expectations or past traumas or hurt creep in is what this is saying here. And to clarify, we do have coming together, beautiful energy, two of cups. That's your challenge. So yes, it's going to be a little challenging, but the potential is for the two of you to work because I do see a lot of love between you and another here. For those of you that are singled up, Stay strong a little while longer because this is a very important soulmate connection coming in for you here. The Two of Cups is a very, very strong high-level commitment where uh, you know your soulmates. This is a romantic partner here, and I feel like you will be healing any wounding from the past and bringing yourselves back together. Let's get one more card for the strength showing up as your potential here. We have the clarity of belief. There's that ace of wands I talked about in the beginning. This is that important conversation. It shows up in the potential. You're going to have a conversation with somebody, whether they are new, whether it's somebody that you are currently with or somebody that maybe you're separated from. <clears throat> you're going to decide if the both of you are on the same page and what you want out of this relationship. There's going to be a confession here, uh, an open, raw, real, honest conversation about where to go from here. So I feel like you will cut through barriers. The both of you will have aha moments here. And let's get a final card in the potential position here regarding the two of you. Let's get one more here, Spirit. Thank you. Flow again. Okay. So this is that wheel of fortune showing up. Beautiful energy. It's saying if you've been in a little bit of a tiff or some up and down energy, this is fate intervening, bringing the both of you together to heal something and to finally feel like you have good luck, love, and uh, fortune regarding your love life. Beautiful energy here. I like this. Let's take a look at the near future. Uh, what people don't realize is potential is just that. It's just potential. It doesn't, uh, it has the possibility to turning out like that, but it's about manifestation. And that is your key energy for the month of December. So it does not surprise me uh, if you get similar energy showing up in the near future here, which is what we are clarifying now uh, as your potential. So you have the potential to come together, heal whatever this is between you and another, or heal yourself in a situation here. 
queen of water, queen of cups, a lot of love here. Uh, this is you. I feel this is you showing a lot of love towards not only yourself, but somebody else during the month of December. I feel like you will open your heart chakra, Aries, and uh, you will be the giver in this situation. Okay, the five, we do have the five of wands, uh, win or lose, it's up to you here. Again, there may be a conversation about uh, the both of you, a new understanding, and this is about um, trying to find a solution, especially, again, petty arguments, like I said in the beginning here. Somebody's going to open up and say, you know what, I I feel like there may be an apology showing up as well, uh, coming together. You're getting the same energy here. There will be a possibly an apology. You'll decide together. Do you want to win this situation? Is it worth winning or is it worth just letting something go in order for you to come together and grow? And that's the exact energy that I'm getting for the near future. And that's kind of what we just talked about as the potential here. So you will decide, is this worth uh, somebody being right all the time? Because there is that conflict going back and forth. Uh, but I feel like there's a lot of love there, especially with the Queen of Water. Let's get one more card for the near future. You do have the coming together, the Two of Cups. So uh, you just got that again. We have the Eight of Swords. Oh, goodness. You're just getting the same sort of energy here. The Eight of Swords is uh, freeing yourself from a situation where you did feel trapped, okay? Because there's a... Uh, it says helpless and hopeless. And for some of you, this is very important. So do not... Uh, so do take this as a very vital piece of your love advice for December is... Aries, know when to walk away from a situation, okay? Know when to choose your battles, choose your fights, and say, is it worth it? You know, this, again, is that win or lose energy. So this is very important communication and conversation. And they're also saying, uh, let somebody speak. So this could be you, uh, especially if you guys cut each other off often. Uh, this could be your partner as well. Uh, but it's very important for you both to let each other speak and try to figure it out together if you want to come together. That is very important for you. Let's take a look here, Aries, and see what you are telling yourself. What do you want out of this union? Let's take a look here. Okay, how would you like the spirit? Thank you. Okay. We have the king of air. King of air, somebody, um, whether this is you, you could be a little bit... King of Air is the master of communicating, but he can be a little bit manipulative, and sometimes he doesn't always think with his heart. I feel like this is somebody that's on your mind, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy here. Uh, the King of Swords uh, is saying that this person is very logical, thinks more with his head instead of his heart, uh, maybe uses needs to choose his words a little more wisely because they can come off as hurtful and they can certainly uh, hurt other people if miscued or if they are put out in a wrong way. And I feel like that is where a lot of the the interaction comes from is some sort of miscommunication, but this is about setting those healthy boundaries and uh, making sure you don't jump from one end of the scale to the other here and that you stay within your emotions, but do not let them overrule you here. Let's clarify this energy, whether again, this is you or uh, maybe the, your other person here. Let's take a look and clarify the King of Swords spirit. Oh, wow. Ace of Cups. You want this new beginning. You want to open your heart, but somebody may be a little bit resistant. Uh, again, whether this is you or a person you're dealing with, somebody that may be just in their energy, they may be a little more closed off where maybe you are a little more emotional. They may be more logical versus emotional. And that makes sense if you are uh, the female that is in the relationship and this is a male, or if you are the male that may show a little more of that emotional side of yourself and you may have a female that is a little more masculine here, uh, somebody is just not willing to fully open themselves up because of the pain, because of the trauma. Let's take a look here and clarify the King of Swords. Yeah, the, it could be your partner feeling a little bit helpless and hopeless because maybe they're not sure how to heal. Uh, but with the Eight of Swords showing up here, I feel like somebody will uh, free themselves. They're moving towards freedoms, uh, freedom, but they need to let go of an old story that they've been telling themselves here. Something that's been spinning again and again in their mind, maybe what 
uh, what is holding them back. So let's take a look here and see what's going on in your environment. What is going on in your surrounding? Six of air, moving towards calmer waters. Yes, so whether you are walking away from a situation here because it just can't get resolved because you have a choice here. There's a choice whether you wanna stay tied up in a union uh, or you can you can walk away from it if it's just not serving you any longer. The Six of Swords is about a rite of passage. It's about uh, coming out stronger from a situation. And I feel like a lot of you will reconcile or you will, um, if you are currently together with somebody, you will try to leave the past in the past and come out stronger from a tower moment or a situation that certainly hurt. Uh, let's take a look and clarify the Six of Swords, please. control and again that win or lose so what they're saying is it's completely up to you guys what you want to do here so uh the eight showing up is that card of strength okay this is about control and you have this your potential like i said here you're manifesting quite strongly that's the energy you show up in your potential is the strength card you have the strength to choose and overcome. Do you want to win this situation? Uh, is that, it's almost like a win at all cost mentality or do I just make amends and move past this and move forward and come out stronger? So uh, same energy that they're giving here, uh, but control does need to be released in order to move forward. And the King of Swords can be controlling. Again, he can be somebody who can be a little narrow-minded at times, a little bit opinionated, my way or the highway type energy, and uh, may need to release some sort of control there in order to uh, move forward. Again, it can be you, can be your partner's energy. Let's take a look here, Aries, at your hopes and your fears. Oh, wow. Oh, this is beautiful. So what this is saying, you have a match here, um, but I will tell you here, the thing between the king and the queen of air is they are, they're a power couple, absolutely, a lot of love, but there's a lot of miscommunication. So if you are not able to master the communication between the two of you, things can get downright ugly sometimes. Words can just spew out of mouths that uh, are hateful or hurtful. Uh, things can go back and forth. And there's just a lot of stabbing and a lot of non nonsense that doesn't need to happen. But mostly it's about communication. Sometimes they just don't know how to do it. But I will tell you this, when the two of them come together, their words are almost like poetry. They can come together. Uh, they can almost, uh, they're showing me almost like a dance, like the, the Argentino tango, right? You're doing a, a dance between this person that is almost like you can speak, you can sense what they're thinking before they say it. Or maybe you finish each other's sentences here. This is what you want. And I feel like the, the hope here is for you to find your match if you are single. Uh, or the hope here is it to reconnect with the person that you know is your soulmate, possibly twin flame. And if you are currently in a relationship, you want better communication. And the fear is, what if this love between us whoo, splits up? splits apart. You don't want that to happen here. So again, this can be you. It can be your partner. Maybe this is you or your partner here. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy here. Uh, but this is about creating a balance within your relationships here. So very powerful energy. But I do, I do like it because I see that the both of you can overcome this here. Let's clarify the Queen of Swords energy. Queen of Swords uh, sets healthy boundaries. I feel like if the both of you can do that uh, and not be so stubborn, letting down a, a little bit of the walls that maybe hold you back here. I mean, when two air signs get together, whew, opportunity beckons. Beautiful. Uh, this is the Four of Cups. So uh, this is the chance for opportunity to... Bring yourselves together, heal from a situation, come out on top, come out stronger, and level up this relationship. For some of you, getting, uh, again, engaged, getting married, uh, moving in together. This is about uh, enjoying your life and sharing it. You do have that sun card. So I feel with the sun showing up here, you have the potent, not only the potential, but you have this in your energy for this union, for this relationship to make something very, very happy here. So opportunity beckons here. If there were opportunities in the past that were missed, 
Some of you may be, maybe you were engaged to this person in the past and thought, nah, we're going to hold off. It's not our time. Maybe uh, there was an opportunity to date this person from the past uh, and now the time is coming up. So what this is saying is there may have been missed opportunities between the two of you in the past, but now the opportunity is presenting itself. What will you do with this opportunity, Aries, is completely up to you. All right, let's take a look at the final outcome for you and your partner. All right. Okay, we have we have a few cards that just came up here. Holy moly. So, oh wow. You have three major arcanas that just shot out of the deck here with the tower showing up a little bit in reverse. You're overcoming this tower moment. It's already happened for you. The tower is about um in especially in reverse a revelation that offers freedom. It may have to do with the conversation you have, but what I'm sensing is this is an internal release of something that's happened with you between the, either the two of you, maybe it's happened independently, maybe it's happened separately, whatever this tower moment that happened is releasing, is freeing itself because next right after that, we have the card of second chances. This is the call card, judgment. This is about a wake-up call, but it's also about a second chance for a do-over to rebuild this tower that came crumbling down. And ultimately, you end with the chariot. This is crazy powerful between you. You're, you're a power couple for sure here. Uh, for those of you that are single, although the energy I'm getting is that you already know this person. So uh, possibly if you, again, if you are single, there is somebody coming in here that's going to bring a strong connection. And I feel like you will be able to triumphantly, successfully move forward in this relationship with the chariot. The chariot is about forward movement, cancer energy. Uh, this is about success. Finally, getting something going instead of it stopping and going, stopping and going, or feeling like you've missed an opportunity and then uh, something gets stalled or stagnant. Chariot says you're moving forward and this will be successful. I love this. Wow. How powerful to get three of these shooting out at the same time, uh, especially when the tower shows up first sideways, saying again, yes, yeah, second chance to rebuild whatever this was here. It will be successful this time around. Wow. Whew. I don't even need to clarify that energy they're saying here, uh, but we will get a message from the wisdom of the oracle. And I will read to you the, uh, the romance or the love message from the guidebook. This is from Colette Baron Reed, one of my favorites. And if any of you are interested in any of the decks I use, I do list them in the description box for your convenience. I don't gain profit. It's just for you. Uh, for your knowledge. So let's take a look here and see what is coming in from the wisdom of the oracle. I'm just going to shut this blind behind me. It's a little bit strong coming in. So maybe that's an extra reminder of the sun. You have the sun in your energy here. Oh, wow. We have the peace card. We have peace showing up for you. This is a relationship that I feel will bring a lot of peace to you, especially in the month here of December. It's about freedom from attachment in radical acceptance here. Holy. The relationship message is this. When two people are in true alignment with one another, they have an innate harmony between them. They are as two perfectly tuned in instruments playing together. Sometimes it's impossible to tell who is who. Peace is yours and it is to be savored. Whoa, that's what I was talking about here. Aries with that Argentino tango. Uh, the peace card is definitely coming in saying there will be a lot of peace in your relationship, especially if it's been chaotic chaotic for quite some time. So very powerful energy here. All right. And for those of you that are new to my channel, now is the time where we do the spirit animal oracle exercise. But again, I am going to shut the blinds here so you are able to see a little bit better. All right. So for those, of, again, that are just, this is your first time, I just ask that you close your eyes, Aries. And I'd love for you to tune into that third eye chakra. That is the chakra between your eyebrows. And I want you to think of your 
a power animal, your power animal, the first animal that pops up into your mind's eye. Just take a deep breath and think of an animal, whether it's an animal that flies high in the sky, perhaps one that swims deep in the sea. It may be an animal that's wild, domesticated, or maybe it's an animal you had as a child. And if you need a moment, just take a few seconds to think of, it can be more than one again, it doesn't have to be just one. All right. And if you, Aries, would like to be entered into my free monthly reading giveaway contest and you don't feel like clicking on the link in the description box below, all you need to do is comment below your power animal. And I personally will enter you into the free monthly reading giveaway. All right. Now we're going to get the messages from your power animal here. Got everything falling over here. All right, and your power animals are these. Starfish, open to infinite possibilities. You did get that in your uh, position of hopes and fears, the opportunities coming in as well. So you have opportunities, open up to the infinite abundance, open up to the sun energy, so you are able to attract this. Releasing the past is going to be very important for you, Aries. We have porcupine spirit, time for a beginner's mindset. So a lot of you, if you want to unite with a lover, reunite, make something stronger, uh, whatever that is for you here, it's time to go into it with a new mindset. Especially, you know, if you are single and something came crashing down in the past, this is about you going into a new relationship because there's love coming in here. Uh, there is love already there. Like I said, I'm getting the energy of you already know this person, but please take it as it resonates. So you're starting something from a beginner's mind and again, rebuilding a tower. We have bee spirit, sweet results await. Uh, this can be honey, honey bee. Maybe somebody calls you honey. Maybe somebody calls you their bee uh, as well, honey bee. Uh, but sweet results await. They most certainly do. We have moth spirit, surrender. Instead of letting your walls up so high, surrender those walls, release here, Aries, and you will be able to open yourself up, become more vulnerable, and let others in, let love in. And then lastly, we do have a brown bear spirit. This is about taking a time out, especially when it comes to the conversations that need to be had. Maybe the two of you uh, are planning on having a weekend getaway together. Maybe this is planning a trip or a vacation. This can be even just a date night, getting together between the both of you and uh, working on your relationship, especially if you've been working on yourself for a while now. Uh, I feel very beautiful energy coming from this here. All right, uh, we are gonna get a message regarding your love from the Soul Truth Oracle here. And what I recommend is that you either pause the video, Aries, or journal this question and really think about this on a soul level because it will help in your love life. Am I focused on what I want most? One reason so few of us achieve what we truly want is that we never direct our focus. We never concentrate our power. Most people dabble their way through life never deciding to master anything in particular. That's by Tony Robbins. Your soul action, Aries, is this. What you focus on grows. Today, ask yourself, is my life a reflection of my values or do I need to make adjustments? Prioritize. Wow. Yes, prioritize. Like I said in the very beginning, uh, especially with the cards of uh, chemistry, let's see, love yourself first. Some of you... Some of you most certainly are thinking about what your priorities are at this time and how you are able to match those up with possibly somebody in your life, uh, whether you are walking away from somebody or you are committing to that higher level commitment. So again, you have free will, you have the choice to stay or go, uh, but I feel like whatever you choose to do, whatever your strength is, because you got that strength card showing up twice, whatever you need to be strong against, and I feel like you already know what this is. It could be strong about uh, coming together because that's what you want. It can be about walking away from somebody because you just realize that, yeah, there may be a lot of love there, but uh, your priorities are different or vice versa. All right, and before we end your reading here, 
Aries, I typically pull a crystal from the crystal bowl. Uh, but this month I am going to read from the Crystal Spirit Oracle. Again, another beautiful deck by uh, Colette Baron reed here. And she has great love messages from this deck. And this is the Pink Sapphire. Oh, goodness. They're telling me right now strength. And I said strength. Four and four equals eight, which is the card of strength. So let's take a look and get your love message from the pink sapphire. They're also showing me pink uh, earrings. If you are wearing pink earrings, I may not exactly be sapphire. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, uh, but I feel... I'm seeing somebody with pink, beautiful sapphire earrings. Well, like I said, they could be sapphire, maybe, maybe not. All right, and your message is this, forgiveness, choosing to heal, acceptance, and letting go. And it's also about soothing the heart. Your relationship message is this, embrace your power for healing now, says pink sapphire spirit. And that means turning inward instead of concerning yourself with others at this time. Let go of any urge to go over all that went wrong or to relive the past. You deserve to feel joy, confidence, and faith. To do so, you must let go of the old stories and release the pain that is no longer serving you. Sometimes it lingers, so if you feel it coming up, let yourself experience it on its way out of you. Have a good cry, vent, get all that energy out of you, and then feel yourself filling up with the love and acceptance you deserve. Coming to you, you courtesy of the love barrier, the conscious universe, Pink Sapphire Spirit is here to remind you that all that you are all you need to be. You are whole and beautiful and the universe knows how very strong you are. Whoa, sorry guys, I just realized that the lighting was really off there. Uh, this may be, okay, what they're telling me here, especially if you noticed how foggy that was here like that for a minute. Uh, I feel like some of you may be feeling foggy within yourself, unsure, uh, but I feel whatever this forgiveness is coming in here, you will triumph from it. You will grow stronger, and I think it, you're going to come out stronger from this. You will become a better version of yourself, whether that's separate or together here, uh, you will be coming out on top, and uh, forgiveness is key. Forgiveness is very important, uh, but you will thrive. Whatever direction you go, you will thrive. All right, Aries, that's what I have for you. I'm sending you a lot of love, light, and abundance. And again, feel free to hit that like button if this resonates, and it certainly helps get the channel divine messages out there. Uh, and again, subscribe if you haven't already, and sending you abundance. Till next time.